ready? Yes. Okay. Alright everyone, I'm being rude! <laughs> I'm here to talk about how to uh, make sure that uh, your services only get talked to by your app. So, um, uh, to my current contract, our um, backend guys were a bit nervous about anyone being able to access their API. And so we looked into that a lot. And um, uh, this is kind of the solution we came up with. And so there's two parts of what I want to talk about. Um, making sure that only your app can talk to your servers and no one else. And the other part is how to hide your secret keys in your app so that hackers can't get at them. Um, sorry? Easily. Easily. Yeah, all right, so... Um, you haven't seen the talk yet, shush! Or to be honest, how to keep them secret from everyone except Jack. <laughs> He's not here! I know, it would have been funnier if he was here. Yeah. Jack, um, yeah, he knows how to get past all this. It's not people who have kids Yes, because they don't have copious amounts of spare time. Or sleep deprived. All right. This is Charles. Yeah, yeah. Hi Charles. Hi Charles. Hi Charles. Hi Charles. If you don't have a license, get one. <laughs> yeah, Charles is really good. So if you're sending your secret keys over HTTP or even HTTPS, Charles will get your keys really easily. So it's basically a man in the middle HTTPS proxy. Um, so if you really care about your keys, first thing is don't send them over to clear in either uh, HTTP or HTTPS. Uh, one way around that, if you're using HTTPS, you can uh, use PIN certificates. That'll get around the ability for Charles or any other man in the middle proxy to get at it. But most people don't want to bother with that, because that's a lot of hassle. So the next solution we came up with was uh, using HMAX to um, sign your requests. So an HMAC looks like this. Oh no, I didn't do that slide, sorry. <laughs> 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 yes, okay. So there's only four slides, never mind. Uh, next. So the next thing I want to show you, this is the command line strings. If someone wants to have a look inside your binary to see all the strings or keys in it, it's fairly straightforward. They install your app off the App Store. They can then jailbreak your phone. They can then load the app, which um, decrypts it. And then they can dump the binary from memory. And then they can run strings on it. And any literal string that's in your app is really easy to find in here. So if your code has your secret key in a uh, literal string like ampersand double quotes, so you can uh, it'll be really easy to find it with this. So that's something you want to work around. The solution to that is to store your key as a literal set of bytes. And that makes it harder to find with strings because it won't turn up. So now your attacker has to sift through your entire binary with a hex editor to find your keys. And if your binary is you know, a couple of megs big, uh, you'll probably have the keys in there twice because you'll be having your 32 and 64 bit versions. So uh, they have twice the chance of finding it, but it's still going to take them forever to find it with a hex editor. Or will they be able to not find it? This is called Marco View. And this is a, an app that opens your binary files and shows you all the different sections of uh, code and data, aka text. And the advantage of this app is that it makes it really easy when you're searching through a binary file to know where not to look for secret keys. So you just look in just the text sections and you can find stuff rather than having to waste your time looking through the code sections. Uh, I experimented with this with an app I'm building and I was able to find a secret key that was created as literal bytes within, it took me two minutes. Uh, so this kind of makes it less of needle in a haystack and more like a small haystack and look through until you find a bunch of bytes that look suspicious. 
So, it's my fair view. So the next step we came to is obfuscation. And obfuscation is all about making the attacker have to uh, go further than just looking at your uh, binary. They have to either run it and with a debugger pull stuff out, or they have to disassemble it, which no one's going to do, unless you're a back. In which case, you should probably listen further. <laughs> so once you obfuscate the key, you can't find it with my code for or a hex editor. Here's the technique I use. Uh, I XOR the secret key against something and store the XOR value in the app. So up the top I've got the obfuscated secret key and to form the thing that I XOR against, I just, rather than storing a literal XOR key in the binary, I just make a hash of this string of some random class. That way there's no extra stuff stored in the binary. So you hash that to make something bigger than your secret key, XOR it, and then you've got your actual key. Uh, it's less complicated than it sounds. Uh, to make your original key, the trick is you put your actual key in the obfuscated key, put a breakpoint down the bottom, and see what it spits out, and that's your obfuscated key to put up. Uh, that's because XORs work, whatever the word is, for they reverse nicely. But then an attacker can still run your app with a debugger and, and poke around until they can get the key once it's in the clear. For instance, they can put um, breakpoints on all your common crypto methods and see what gets passed in. This is once you're in the realm of the jacks of the world. So uh, I've got one more trick in my sleeve for that. This is what Apple does with the iTunes app to uh, stop people mucking around with debuggers, they basically make the app crash on startup if a debugger is trying to attach. And this is what that code looks like. It's pretty easy to find. Now, you can work around this with a debugger if you're Jack, <laughs> but that's, by this stage, you've prevented most attacks, and I think your professional indemnity insurance would be satisfied if you got to this level of protecting your keys. That was kind of a joke. I've got PI insurance recently. <laughs> I'm growing up now. So here's my recommendations. Use an HMAC so you're not sending a key over the wire. Or use SSL with a certificate pinning so that no one can man in the middle of it if you must send it as, say, a request header in the clip. Uh, you can obfuscate the key using XOR to prevent anyone just looking at the binary. You can disable the debugger to make it harder for people to uh, get in that way. And don't really rely on any of this preventing some crazy genius from getting in. Yeah, thanks for listening. If you want to get in touch, um, you can easily Google me to find my blog and get in touch that way. And uh, here's where I shamefully say I'll be uh, looking for work in a, in a month or so. Now, Gordon's up next, and he's going to tell you how you actually make money from the app store. And as we all know, you can't make your money from the actual by selling apps. So he's with the technique. Thanks for listening.